Hi, I'm going to show you an exciting feature we have in our Canvas environment, and that is that you can pull in any of your designs from Canva, which is our district-wide graphic design tool. Now, I am going to say I apologize in advance if I have any tongue twisters in this because Canva and Canvas are very, very similar in how they are spelled and said. So here in BCSC, all of, your, all of our staff and students have access to Canva. It's a graphic design tool. You authenticate or log in with your BCSC Google account. And then we also have Canvas is our LMS. And Canvas supports integrating lots of third-party tools. So it's easy to bring in some of your favorite tools and connect them to resources, pages, as well as assignments in Canvas. If you've played around with Canvas already, then you know that you can add any Google file and it can create copies of that file for students which is really great for scaffolding note-taking skills, helping them build a presentation or pre-writing. But now you can also do that with any of your Canva designs. So Canva has a lot of education content. There's whiteboard spaces, there's note sheets on here, infographics, and uh, graphic organizers, concept maps, things to help students in the pre-writing or planning phase. You can just spend hours <laughs> looking at all these templates. So I pulled up an example. And it's really helpful to use these to scaffold these skills for students. And now you have more ways you can easily share these with students so that as soon as they click a link, they get a copy made for them and it's seamless for them to turn it back in as well. So one way that you can do this is if I open my design in Canva under the share button, there's this really awesome button called template link. If you don't see that right away, you might have to do more. And then usually template link shows up from there. Okay. So template link is great because I copy this link, I create it, and then with this link, it is a nice little confetti, which I always love. If I copy and share this with students, then as soon as they click that link, they get their own copy made, it's their own to work with, and they're not messing up with my original copy. So now they have access to these tools where they can start typing, edit, do whatever they need for this. The other thing that's amazing is that you can also bring in Canva design so that it makes copies of Canva resources for students. So if I want to put this into my Canvas course and add it to a Canvas assignment because I want them all to fill out this graphic organizer, then I could use that template link. But if I want to make it even easier, I can integrate it into my Canvas assignment. So if you notice when I clicked download, or actually when I clicked more, there was a button here that says LMS, okay? So what you'll need to do is pull up Canvas because if you just click that button, you see that little error message and then nothing really happens. So if I pull up one of my Canvas courses, you can also pull in your Canva designs in several other ways. You'll probably see a Canva for Education button on the left-hand side of your course. If you're an elementary teacher, if you click Manage Subjects, you might see it there. I can also pull in my Canva designs into any of my pages or resources I'm making in Canvas as well. So I can show you that. So we're gonna pretend like we're making an assignment real quick. Give it a name. So if I'm the teacher, I just wanna bring in a design, it's view only. On this plugins button, you'll see Canva and you can pull up any of your designs and insert them from there. But what I'm gonna do is I want this to make a copy of my design, this graphic organizer here for my students. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna name this so it's easier. Helps if I spell things correctly. <laughs> so I have that. So whenever I am here, what I'm gonna do is click this plugin button and I'm gonna click Canva for education. If you don't see it the first time, you might have to click view all. Once you start using the tool, it gets smart and it starts to put the button there for you. So I've been thinking with this a lot, so that's why it shows up for me right away, okay? So here is my tool that we were just looking at. And if I wanted to edit that, I could technically do that all from here. So what I actually had to do was zoom out here a little bit so you could see this a little bit easier. Um, so where it says embed into the page and link text, I actually don't want to select either one of those options. That's just going to give the students view only. I want it to make copies for the students. So if I click two, we're going to do new design for each student. All right. So now what's going to happen is students are going to get a link of their own version of this. As soon as they click this, they'll have their own copy made. So for submission type, what you'll do is just do online and you can do text entry or website URL. And then that's what students are going to share back with you with their own Canva design. They're going to generate a link and they'll be able to turn it back in to you. All right. So Canva recommends website URL. So I'm going to do that, but technically you do text entry. And if I put a due date on this, and we're going to save and publish. All right. And if I go into student view, you'll see what this looks like for my students.
okay? So they can view it. But as soon as they click this, they have their own copy of this design made. And now I can go in and edit this. And whenever I'm ready to start the assignment, all I have to do is just paste this back in. Or if I click the Canva for education button is a student, then I can quickly pull in my design. So it's really easy for students to, to integrate their Canva designs uh, and for you to share them as copies with them. So I hope you find this tool to be helpful and let us know if you have questions.